Hi, we're Amy and Wes, and we live full time on our narrowboat, cruising all around the UK. We bought our boat second hand and we've been slowly making upgrades as we travel. But if you've watched our videos before, you might already know that we're not exactly the best at DIY. So if you're a skilled craftsperson or just perfectionist, you might want to look away now. But if you like a bit of chaos, then stick around because you'll find plenty of it here. <laughs> this week, we're tackling the wardrobe. Still feeling a bit poorly, excuse the plaster, but I really want to get this built. It's just been sat there for about a week and I just want to get it built and the clothes away. Probably a temporary solution for now, but I'm really hoping it works and fits in the wardrobe. First task though, try and assemble it in a small space. Okay, I think that's all the steps. Moment of truth. <laughs> Hold on. Yay, smashed it. Okay, so this is the current situation of the wardrobe. And all of this is just not very utilized and just very wasted space. We've got our wash basket, a box of pyjamas, which is a nightmare, and a box of old shoes that we don't actually ever wear. And then this, which is all of our t-shirts, but they just kind of fall out. We've got so many, they're not very efficiently <laughs> stored. The plan is for the drawers to go here, and then eventually we'll take this out, because we don't think it's supporting anything. For now, I'm just focusing on getting the drawers in. So first things first, Get all the boxes out. What is even in here? This is that shoe box. It's not like, I haven't worn these since we lived in the house. These give me blisters. Wes doesn't like those. When are we gonna go anywhere nice enough to wear those? I live on a boat, let's be real. We can just all go to the charity shop or get rid. Okay, so we've cleared it out. There is a little bit of mold down here. So here we go, that's looking much, much better. When we drilled the holes out from the bed slats, I kept them because I knew they would come in handy. And what I'm gonna do is put them like that. So then when we put the drawers on top, they're on top of the four slats and there's airflow underneath. Moment of truth, try and get the drawers in there. By the way, in case you're wondering. And I'm determined I can do this. Okay. Easy. Yes! It's in! Now I'm just trying to position it on top of the four circles. No! This isn't going well. You might be thinking, why didn't you just do this? Why don't you just do this? I go with the flow. I go where my heart takes me. Oh dear. Might not always be the logical way. Ah, yes, yes! I've done it! I've really got it done it! Just staying like that. If it's not in an ideal position, it's fine. It's in and it's got air flow underneath it. Although they are a bit smaller than I would have imagined. We could have gone a lot deeper, but there's still, still four more drawers than we had before. I don't even fit one of Wes's jumpers in there, actually, Wes. Hey, Wes, come and get a t-shirt. Wow. That fits well, doesn't it? Come and get a t-shirt. The drawers are tiny. Is that as far as it comes out? Yes, they're very small. <laughs> I mean, it's better than it was, though. <coughs> it's still like an actual drawer. We still could have gone deeper, but... <laughs> I, w I thought it was jammed. <laughs> sort of a bit like... They'll at least fit my t-shirts and stuff in. Oh. 
Never mind, hopefully. No. Try and just put that single jumper in there. Go on, Wes. Gonna have to look up some new folding methods, aren't we? Ah. <laughs> yeah, if you roll them, you can fit two in there, one and a half. <laughs> Good though, smashed it. it. Smells a bit like mold down there. Yeah, I bleached it. Yeah, let's not worry about that. They're smaller than I would have liked, and I'm very proud of myself. I did it all by myself, the whole thing. Good job. Now I just need to deal with this. See ya. What do you think, Dupe? Are you proud? He doesn't care. Change of plan. I took all of the clothes out and I'm actually going to take this off because I think it's quite easy to take off and I've got my drill out so I'm going to go for it. I don't quite understand how they're attached in. Is it happening? No. I don't know if somehow previous owners have used rivets. It looks like you can't get them off because the top of the screw is a circle. There's also about 400,000 of them holding this one bit of wood on. <laughs> I say we just go brutus out. We're not chainsawing it. Why not? Because that's an awful idea. You can't chainsaw part of your house out. That is not allowed. I simply won't allow it. Listen, before you all criticise us and say that we're ridiculous, Amy did actually try and use the multi-tool properly. But it didn't work, and we're not very good with multi-tools. It's the world's strongest bit of wood, with held on by 14 square-headed screws. So, we've run out of options, and we're doing it our way. I mean, it, it doesn't look the prettiest. <laughs> really? It's not the, the finest craftsmanship you'll see on YouTube. But can we open the drawers? Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the result everyone's been hoping for. We've got it at a slight angle. Oh, oh beautiful. Like there you go. And that's as far as the drawers open anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they the most smallest drawers? Yay! Yay! Now just for the screws. Can I do this? Is this allowed? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh wow, they are. I mean, they are screws. They are in there. Whoop. We did it though! It looks so much better! Yes, another professional DIY job. Well done. <laughs> I was ready to give up. Wes is absolutely going for it. Whoa. Yay! This space looks so much bigger now. We realised that we could have gotten way deeper drawers because they're really thin. So we'll probably get some more at some point. But it looks so good! Another job well done from Brutus. And this is the finished result. Massive thank you for watching. Hope you didn't cringe too much at our DIY. Massive thank you to the Patreons and those that got us some chips this week. Thanks Andrew for your comment and if you want more boat time follow us on our socials.